Welcome back to another episode of Next Gen VR, where I will be reviewing the Pimax 8KX. After waiting 10 months, the 8KX is finally here. The Pimax 8KX is a VR headset with two native 4K displays with an amazing 3840 times 2160 pixels per eye. It is also the widest field of view for a consumer grade headset at 160 degrees horizontally. Today, I will be discussing my out of the box experience, comfort, picture quality, immersion, audio, and more. So let's get started. Setting up the headset was a breeze. After installing Pi Tool and plugging the headset in, I was asked to perform room setup, which only took a couple minutes of calibration. I then paired the index controllers and was ready to play. Pi Tool has many different options for customizing your headset. I found I get the best picture quality with plus one contrast and minus one brightness. Now putting on the 8KX for the first time, the clarity was mm, far off and it felt like no matter how much I dialed the knob or adjusted the top strap, the headset felt unstable, kind of wobbly, like it wouldn't stay on my face. So eventually I discovered I needed to loosen the top strap so that the back foam cupped my head lower down, tightening the knob more, and the top strap helped keep the headset more in place. So I need to tighten the knob more than I usually do for other headsets. But after doing that, putting the headset back on and off was a breeze. First, I put, put it on my face and then I lower the back part. If the back foam is not low enough, you just loosen the top strap more. And now the headset stays in place, it doesn't wobble. And looking down or up, the headset stays on my face. I also found that placing the headset lower down on my nose gave me the sharpest image quality. So you see which configuration looks best for you. For me, I have an IPD of 63 and I set my IPD to 61 using the hardware slider on the headset. Now in terms of comfort, I would say now that the headset is more comfortable than the index and the weight distribution is not bad. The foam in the front and back feel comfortable and I was able to play games like Half-Life Alex for over an hour and a half and the only discomfort I experienced was some minor pressing on my nose. Now it did not leave a mark though and the minor pressing was quite tolerable. On to visual quality. After getting everything dialed in I have to say that hands down the Pimax 8KX has the best picture quality of any VR headset I've ever tried. It blows the Index and StarView R1 out of the water. The 4K display really feels like looking at a monitor. A very sharp and clean image. There is no screen door effect. There were only a few rare moments when I noticed screen door which was during very white scenes or just in rare moments. But even in those times, the screen door is so finely small that it becomes just an afterthought. So let's talk about the colors next. Personally, I like the colors of the AKX better than the index. The blacks are better and the colors feel richer. Now it is not as deep colors as the Star VR, but close. It feels like the colors are more realistic on the 8KX. With this picture quality and wide field of view, I feel very much immersed and present, even more so than I did on my Star VR 1. The field of view is wide enough that I can play without feeling that my vision is being restricted in the periphery. 
I had so many wow moments and just marveled at the level of detail I could see. It is as close to real life as can be. My most memorable moments were that cinematic scene in Half-Life Alex where you're on an elevator and a Combine soldier shocks you unconscious. Vader Immortal looks incredible, and when I was moving on that Falcon, the sense of speed felt exhilarating, and the field of view it definitely helps with that. Boneworks as well looks so sharp and clean. Pavlov, characters and details have never looked so sharp. So having said all that, there's one downside that I should mention. When my head remains still, the picture is clean and sharp, but when turning my head, especially if I turn fast, it feels like the image goes out of focus or slightly blurred. Then when I stop again, it looks sharp. The best way I can describe it is, imagine when you first wake up in the morning and your vision is slightly unclear, that's what it feels like when moving around. However, it's something I can get used to, and in fact, because the image quality is so sharp and compelling, it doesn't bother me that much. It doesn't affect my immersion, so overall I would say that I prefer this picture quality with slight out-of-focus moments than uh, the lack of resolution on the Star VR1. In terms of distortions, I don't notice any unless I specifically strain my eyes to look at the sides of the lenses, which are difficult to focus on anyway. So despite any imperfections in the very far periphery, it doesn't affect my overall experience because most of my focus in a game is always on the middle part. Now, performance-wise, the headset maintains a smooth 75 FPS in most titles, and I have no problem playing fast-paced games like Pavlov. It feels smooth, there's no feeling like, uh, like 75 is not enough. I feel it is, should be good for most people. Now, another downside, though, is the audio. The audio is not that good. It is a bit on the quiet side and lacking depth. It is adequate when I play long enough and then I forget about it, but definitely for more immersive audio, you should get the deluxe audio strap or use headphones as the 8KX has two audio jacks on the side that you can use. Overall, my conclusion is that the 8KX is a comfortable VR headset once you get it adjusted right with some minor but tolerable discomfort on the nose for my particular face shape. The picture quality makes this the best and most immersive VR headset I've ever used. Colors and picture are way better than the Index, and now I can't go back, which is why I'll be selling my Index now. I can safely say this headset is truly the next generation of VR and I would definitely recommend it for any VR enthusiast. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos where I will show you through the lens. I will show you how to make the headset more comfortable and uh, for other more exciting videos. So subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.